In today's video, I'm going to give you a mostly spoiler-free walkthrough for the Lost Armory quest so you can unlock guns in Dying Light 2. I do want to note that at the time of recording, this quest is new and can bug out sometimes or not show up in the first place. Always try to sleep twice in-game until a new day starts or fully close the game and restart it, and if you're on console, restart that as well. Hopefully some hot fixes will be put in place to address those issues. Sometime after you reach the central loop, you'll get a radio call to start the Lost Armory quest. Once you accept it, head to the fisheye and go to the right side of the building that has the bed and Harper on top. Through the door will be the new agent, Jay. After the conversation, head over to the metro station in Muddy Grounds. Now you don't have to complete it, but the room you need to go to is directly across from the room with the bed. Follow the path through the hall until you come across some renegades. Defeat them and then open the crate at the back of the room and grab the stuff inside. Once that's done, head to the GRE quarantine building in the southernmost part of the wharf. I personally recommend going in at night so you don't have to do the volatiles, but go in through the top and go down to the first blue GRE door. Pry it open and defeat the zombies inside this first room. There's a doorway to the right and in that room is the chest with the code near the boarded doorway. Now go back to the fisheye and talk to Jay again. After the conversation, fast travel to the Trinity Metro and head down to the large windmill. There's a window on the side of the building that the marker wants you to go in. Once there, talk to Delta. When the conversation is over, head to the bazaar and start your first survivor mission called Precious. I'll have a full solo guide for each survivor mission coming soon, but co-op is recommended for these. Once you complete the mission, head down to the large windmill and talk to Delta again. After the conversation, fast travel to the downtown metro and head to the relay tower to the north. On the northern side of this building, use the zipline to take you to the next objective. There are several sleeping zombies in here, so either sneak past them or take them out. Follow the path forward until you reach a door and go inside. After the cutscene, head back to the wharf area to this location, which is between the downtown electrical station and the PK floating fortress. Once you arrive at the dock, investigate the door and defeat all of the bandits that show up. The next marker is back in muddy grounds near this forsaken store. When you get there, look for the hat on the ground near the crane. After you investigate that, head to the door at the bottom of the tower behind the crane. Once the cutscene is over, head back to the same Jerry quarantine building as before and go in again. This time you want to go to the next level down. The easiest way is to follow the tube on the ground and then drop down the elevator shaft. You'll find another blue GRE door to pry open. Clear the zombies and head through the doorway on the right. You'll see a red door in the distance and you want to make your way to the room to the right of that. Climb on the back shelf and open the chest to grab its contents. An easy way to get out of this building is to follow the tube again and go through the door that leads to some stairs on the left. Instead of going down, go through the door in the back right and climb all the ladders to get to the top and exit. Now head back to Muddy Grounds for another cutscene. Once it's complete, you have one minute to disarm three bombs. They're all in the same room you reach, so it's not difficult to do. After that, you'll have less than three minutes to follow the bandits. Again, they're not super far, so tracking them is very easy to do. Once you get to where they are, go down to the bottom and fight all of the bandits in the room. Now that they're defeated, go through the door in front of you and turn here to crawl under the truck. After that, just go to the container with the red light and open it up to finish the mission. You'll be rewarded with the service pistol and some ammo, and now Jay will be unlocked as an agent at the fisheye to complete bounties for and rank up. I'll have a more in-depth video for that soon. For more Dying Light news, tips, and tricks, make sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell for notifications. And if you're interested in other games like Pal World, then check out my other YouTube, RG Reimagined, linked in the description below. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Hi.